I thought I would chit chat with y'all on my way to the pharmacy. Don't worry, I'm safe. I'm not gonna look your way. I'm just concentrating on the road. And if you notice, this is real life for me. Sometimes life is messy. Sometimes I feel so overwhelmed. Sometimes I feel like everything's falling apart. Maybe it's not, but sure does feel like it in my world. And like what I'm telling you is to look at my sunglasses. I broke them and it's the last pair I have, which weren't a great pair. They're not comfy on my face um, and they're broke, but I, I need something. I, I'm very sensitive to the light. So sometimes broken sunglasses can sum up moments in life. <laughs> um, so I'm having a clothing sale tonight, yay. And I've been doing some thinking about the clothing. I wanted to share that. Um, you all know this is a, what do you call it? A blogging or a blogging journey of my life. And I'm 10 months into being a reseller and I like sharing about my life. It's, my life is not much different than yours when it comes down to it from the human experience, you know. I'm talking about deeper matters than material items or the things that I sell or anything like that. And though jewelry or clothing or purses has connected us here on YouTube, um, what binds us together are things that are much deeper, you know, heart level things. It's not making sense, I know already, but I'm just, I'm just sharing, okay? I'm just thinking out loud. But yeah, I wanted to let you know, clothing sale tonight, Saturdays are not my regularly scheduled any longer, but so far I don't know if I've taken a Saturday night off. I was so used to doing sales on Saturday. And I'm starting to feel like variety and clothing and miscellaneous sale is more fun for me than the jewelry. Why? I don't know. Maybe because I'm not as knowledgeable on the jewelry. You all have way more knowledge than me on the jewelry, and you so graciously still accept me, purchase from me, you help me learn, you teach me, and you do it in a way that's not condescending. It doesn't make me feel embarrassed or awkward or less than, and you know, I, I thank you for that those of you that are in the chats of my live streams you're so precious to me you enhance my life you really do because i already deal with those condescending critical negative thoughts towards myself do you and the last thing you need is another person adding to that another person reinforcing those bad thoughts and saying you know you are that and you know i'm every, just saying that makes me think I'm a little too critical with my husband. I am. I'm sure he already has those critical negative thoughts too. So I don't need to reinforce those. I've got to work on that. At least I'm recognizing it. I just thought, I don't know. Like I said, I'm thinking out loud. <clears throat> so something I'm thinking about on the clothing is and it's what the buyers might not understand and it's what maybe some sellers might not understand because I haven't, I haven't <clears throat> got to that level of thinking yet and I still have a long way to go is just like on my glasswares or anything that requires bubble wrap and secure packaging, I don't go less than $10. If you do, you're basically giving it away. I've learned that and everybody's used to me with that. No less than 10 on anything that requires bubble wrap. And that right there is really, you know, cutting it close to completely cutting out any profit for you. And I'm thinking about clothing is about the same way. Because if you think about it, every item of clothing that I show, I have paid for. And if, say if I charge $10, which many times I charge five, six, and $7. I have spent time looking through countless 
items of clothing to find that one that there's nothing wrong with that can be laundered and be very good used clothing that someone that still has life in it you know I've took it home I have laundered it that takes time it takes a product it takes energy bill think about that and then hang it up when I show it only three out of probably ten items are selling for me right now okay takes time to learn your customers to what they're going to want what they're like what they like what's their style what's their size that takes a lot of time right there so if you're lucky enough or or you're doing it well enough that you can for every 10 items of clothing you show sell three which is probably what i'm about right now or at then you have to package it to ship it out and that takes time probably almost five minutes a piece of clothing because i lay that out flat i put a piece of packaging uh, paper there as my guide to fold it nicely and then i put it in a little cellophane bag which costs me money so by the time you do that i'm not sure if you're even profiting three to five dollars per item so you see we've broke that down so for that reason i probably will not unless it is maybe a bundle you know i do a bundle and it comes folded up in the box not individually packaged and i just neatly kind of lay it in there then it might be worth um doing it that way but uh less than ten dollars an item i just i cannot survive making a profit a thriving business and you know make the money i need to make to turn around and restock on inventory plus pay for my gas plus everything the laundry of the clothes um and might still make a profit and you have to make a profit this is a job i'm doing it full time so i have so much to learn please leave your ideas thoughts comments tips advice whatever you have to help me i would appreciate it what's your experience you know what's your experience as the buyer when you buy clothes what's your experience as a seller if you're watching and you sell clothes um so yeah for that reason i'm going to do 10 and above on my clothing and i hope that makes sense and i hope that sounds fair um so i wanted to talk about that because it's just coming to me and i wanted to share it um because tonight will be clothing and i enjoy it i don't know why i enjoy the clothing a lot of people aren't there buying to resale. A lot of people aren't at the auctions and live sales. Um, really in need of anything. But a lot of people aren't getting out as much. Or they have gotten older in life. And they hurt. And they're slower. And they don't have the energy to go out and thrift and find these good deals and these good bargains and they're coming counting on us to bring them to them i even sell chapstick new chapstick because you know that's that is a a, a well it's for me it's needed because i'm addicted but it could be like a luxury item in other countries chapstick's a luxury item but um you know things like that so they don't have to go out and get it little things journals pens you name it and a lot of people come to these sales for the company, for the fellowship, for the socialization, for the chit chat, to feel included, to feel like they belong somewhere, um, to forget about their troubles for a while and just be in a relaxed, peaceful environment where they can laugh, <laughs> sometimes at me because I'm a little goofy, or just cut up, have fun. You know, and then if they say something they like, great, they can buy if they can. So I, I like to think about that. I try to keep it in mind. I'll have a guest, Laura with Jewelry, etc., on tonight. This will be the first time she's on my channel. So that'll be fun. I'm excited about it. Uh, 
I feel like me and Laura are just like peanut butter and jelly. We go real good together. And I enjoy her and her company, and I think she enjoys me and my company. So together tonight, we'll do a little clothing, accessories. I have miscellaneous um, items for sale. Tomorrow night, I'll be back. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll be back on with jewelry. Um, starting anywhere from 2 to 3 p.m. on Sunday. And, uh, yeah, I'd love for you to join us. So, me and my broken sunglasses. I'm going to take them off to go into the pharmacy. So, what I have to do the rest of the day, I, I slept in. I got some much-needed rest. I relaxed. I woke up. I drank some coffee, hot and cold. And I've got to go into the pharmacy. I have got to pick my daughter up from her dad's bring her home she's got to get ready for work take her to work and after that I need to work on getting some tax information together for my husband I need to invoice for the shipping of the items I sold for Dawn's benefit auction so they can be ready to go out on Monday wow what's going on here in downtown Elkin this is a little city near me, downtown Elk, and all the buildings are very old. And there must be something going on because there is nowhere to park. So I'm going to have to walk a little bit. And it is cold. This wind is blustering cold. Unreal. It's like we're up north or something. Have I got a hood? No, I don't. Oh, that's handicapped. Okay. We're going to have to walk a while, y'all. But anyway, and uh, yeah, I've got to do that. I'm pretty much organized for my sale, which starts at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight. Thank you if you've watched all the way to the end. And if you did, please put in the comments. $10 is good, and you know why. Because that's the last I'm gonna do on my clothing. $10 is good, all right? Please give me a thumbs up too. I love you guys. See you tonight.